welcome to my channel um, this week I am doing a full glam look I'm um, using the tartlet palette and I mean full like this is the finished look and so I mean I have everything contour blush highlight um obviously foundation eyeshadow false lashes um my eyebrows are filled in I got them waxed finally see I mean they're filled so obviously they're gonna look pretty good anyway but so much cleaner so much better um so yeah, um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and let's just go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh, I feel so official saying that to all of my like zero subscribers. So make sure you guys subscribe if you like this video. Facebook friends and friends of my mom, make sure you subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I just washed my face and um, I washed it, applied a day serum even though it's like six o'clock at night but I figured whatever I'm gonna wash my face later and put on my night serum um, I did have someone ask what kind of moisturizer that I use and currently I use the um, drunk elephant umbra sheer physical daily defense and it's broad it has um, sunscreen in it SPF 30 um, I just get the sample size my lights like right there big surprise but um, I use that one I have the whole like sample set um, and it was like a hundred dollars but it had face wash um, day serum night serum um, oil in it to, to like moisturization um, it has like a moisturizing cream it has it has all kinds of stuff and it was like it's drunk elephant so it's totally worth every penny but if you are on on a budget um, I did used to use um, a Vino Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer, and this one also has sunscreen in it, but this one's SPF 15. This is what it looks like, and you can just get it at like Walmart, um, Ulta, Target, like wherever. It's um, just like a drugstore one. And then another one that I use is um, Mario Badescu, Badescu, I don't know how to say that name, but whatever. Um, it's oil-free moisturizer and has SPF 17 in it. It's a very like specific number. Um, again, this is like the sample size because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but um, I do really like it. Those are both like really good drugstore um, brands to use um, and I've used them in the past and loved them, especially the Avena Ultra, Ultra Calming one. It just feels so nice on your face. but. Um, so those are those are two that I've used in the past, and then Drunk Elephant is what I currently use. So on that note, let's just go ahead and get started with my eye makeup, and here we go. So like always, I'm gonna be starting off with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, that one. I didn't have any. I know in the last video I was saying that it's expired, and so I was worried that I was gonna like go blind or something. I didn't have any issues, so. I'm gonna keep using it and just fingers crossed that nothing happens um, and like I said last week like you just want my mirrors over here so if I'm like looking over here that's why but um like I said last week you always want to start off with a primer just so that your makeup is easier to blend and it tends to stay out like you don't have the creasing issue um, like you know like in your crease how sometimes your eye makeup will start like building up on top of each other you don't have I mean like you'll still get that issue if you're wearing it all day but um you know it doesn't happen so early on and I'm using a lot of red based eyeshadows which are hard they're like I mean it's I'm using the Tartlet palette um by Tarte obviously and it's they're still really like pigmented but with red base colors they're harder to blend so um that is something to note on here you're gonna have to build and build and it gets pretty tedious but it's worth it in the end um because it looks pretty good obviously it looks really good or else i wouldn't be doing it but whatever so i'm gonna start off with the um free spirit it's that one right there it's kind of like that like a uh, banana color um, I'm just going to do that as my base and I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid like I'm even like going up to my brow bone and I'm just going to blend it all the way out to even here I personally don't like a cut crease which is where like your makeup like kind of stop sharply like right there um 
I mean, it looks good on other people. I just don't think it looks good on my face shape. I don't know. I did it for the longest time. And I was always like, oh, why does my face look so streaky? Not streaky. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, like, why do my eyes always look so squinty? Because they don't have really tiny eyes. And it's not like I really like... I mean, I have almond-shaped eyes, but, you know, they're not tiny, so I didn't understand why my face looks so, or why my eyes look so tiny, and, like, like I was squinting, and I figured out it was because I was doing, like, a sharp crease, like, right there, and I have a brown face, and I feel like it kind of, I don't know, I just don't like the way it looks on me, personally. Oh, and I was using the Sephora Blending Shadow Brush for that one, it's kind of just like a flat, or, like, it's like a big brush I'm going to use this to blend my makeup later and then I'm going to take the MAC I can't see the number on that it looks like 219 um, it's a crease brush and I'm going to take this um, natural beauty color right here and it's kind of like that like um, I don't really know how you describe that color it's kind of like a like a light tan, like a pinkish tan color. And um, I'm gonna do that in my crease, but kind of like where like your brow bone starts. So like right there, I'm gonna do it up there. So from right here, so from the corner of my eye, all the way across. And like I said, like since this does have a pinky tone, that means there's some red in it. It's not as bad as the other ones I'm gonna use, but you are probably gonna have to like build this up some so just be prepared my hair is already starting to get in my way because I didn't clip it back like last week I, I'm always holding this like up here and I'm so sorry I'm still new to this so give, like be easy on me My setup's a lot better for this video, you guys. Like, remember last week I had that super ghetto setup? This week I ordered a tripod off of Amazon, and it's a lot less precarious. Now, <laughs> I have my little, like, mirror set up, like, so that when I start doing, like, my fake eyelashes and my eyebrows and stuff, it's a lot closer to me. Um, that's on the same ghetto setup that my phone was on last week. And I still have the extension cord with, like, the lamp for my living room in here. But that's just going to have to work until, I don't know, until more people decide that they want to watch my videos and I actually make money doing this. That's just what's going to have to happen. Alright, so this should be, like, what it looks like right now. I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to take that um, Pro Blending or that Blending Shadow Brush that I used for the base and I'm just going to blend it in. That's like the most important part when you're doing like a whole bunch of makeup all at once like for like a full glam look or even if you're, you know, your everyday look consists of like a bunch of shadows and like darker colors and that kind of stuff you're going to want to blend because otherwise it just I almost said it doesn't look natural but it's not going to look natural no matter what but you know what I'm trying to say it doesn't look as good I tried I like sampled this look earlier and I did it super fast because I said I wanted to have this up by 7 tonight I don't think that's going to happen but that was my goal anyway and so then I'm going to take this color, Best Friend, which is kind of like a mauve color. I'm literally, like, I'm doing, like, boom, 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 boom. Um, but it's kind of like a mauve color. This one was hard to blend earlier when I was doing this look. This one was not so much fun. And I'm going to go, like, just below that one. So, like, here's my, like, where my brow bone starts. And I'm, like, going to go, like, just barely below that. So kind of just below where we were putting that first color, or second color. And like I said, this is a, this has more red in it than the last one. 
So you're definitely gonna have to build this one up. I wanted to get this video up last week. Like I wanted to do two videos last week. And you guys, I have the worst toothache in the history of the world. Like I finally got a root canal done yesterday. And it, it was bad, you guys. Like it was really bad. Like I was in bed. I went to work on Wednesday and I, I think I left early. I might've, I don't remember. I, no, I think I stayed the whole day. I was miserable, but I stayed the whole day. And, um, and, but I was in bed all day Thursday, all day Friday. And I was being so stubborn about it. I was like, no, I'm not going to go to the dentist. I'm not going to go to the dentist. Like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like, it'll go away. And obviously it did not go away. Like, Saturday, I almost went to the emergency room because I was in so much pain. And then I was doing some Googling and... Google was like, emergency room can't do anything for you. Like, they might prescribe you pain medicine, but it's kind of like, um, on a case-by-case -case basis, because obviously, like, they don't want junkies coming in being like, mine too hurts, and, like, prescribing them Vicodin, um, which happens, apparently. So, I was like, I'm not gonna go to the emergency room. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I'm like, I'm not gonna go to the emergency room, you know, risk spending thousands of dollars because I don't know if they'd want to do like x-rays or what, even though like there's no dentist there and like the doctors aren't trained in teeth. That's why you go to a dentist. Um, and so I was like in excruciating pain and I was applying like clove oil and I got this, um, I got like some benzocaine I was putting that on. Um, I was even doing like swishing whiskey around and I put it on like a Q-tip and rubbed it on my gums and like nothing was working you guys the only thing that really worked for me was i would um lay down like it was on this side i'd lay down with an ice pack right there and then i'd like take a sip of ice cold water and like swish it around and then i'd kind of like like keep it in my mouth and like let it sit on that side and that was the only way i could get any comfort and i was taking like so much ibuprofen like i don't know how my liver didn't shut down oh, i'm blending now <laughs> I don't know how my liver didn't like shut down and give up on me because I was taking so much ibuprofen. It was insane. Like I couldn't sleep obviously because I was in so much pain and it would start at like nighttime. Like I would feel fine during the day and then at like eight o'clock it would start hurting. And I was like, is this real life? Like, why are you doing this to me? And do you know how many times I fell asleep and got woken up by having like cold water like on my pillow and like running down like on my shirt because I would that was the only way I could fall asleep so it would start to fall in my mouth when I fell asleep and then it would wake me up and I'd still be in pain so then I couldn't go back to sleep and it was horrible but I finally got taken care of and the dentist was really nice and you know it wasn't too bad mm. so now I'm going to take um this like the dark purple color bombshell right there and I'm just going to put that in the um, corner V of my eye and this was the one I had trouble with when I was doing this earlier because like purples and like any type of red based color is so hard to blend out that um, and like it's a dark color so you don't want to put too much on but I'm not a very patient person and so I don't like building up colors so what see like I'm just doing like right in the outer V and then I'm just going to keep building it up and then I'll blend it later um but yeah so I'm glad I finally got that taken care of because I was in so much pain and you know how with tooth pain like since it's a nerve like it's so it's just like the worst pain like you can't really do anything like you can take ibuprofen and pray to god that it works or but there's not really anything else you can do until you go to a dentist. And let me tell you, like, when I went in there yesterday and I just showed up, like, they take, like, emergency appointments at this dentist. I'd never been there before. And um, I'm like, I'm here for an emergency appointment. And they're like, they were so nice. They were like, oh, no, what's wrong? And I told them, like, that I've been in excruciating pain all weekend. And they're like, let's sit you down. Let's get some topical um like the topical stuff to numb it like let's get some 
topical on there so you can think straight. We'll get some x-rays done, like try to figure out what's going on. I'm like, okay, cool. And when they put that topical cream on my mouth, like, I thought I was going to cream in my pants. Like, it felt so good, you guys. Like, I was like, oh my god, no more pain. And then, um, it worked out so well because I guess they had a cancellation right before I walked in. And so they're like, if you want to do a, like, it, it needed a root canal, obviously. So I did the x-rays and they're like, if you want to do a root canal, the dentist is actually available right, like, now, if you want to do it, and I'm like, hell yeah, I do, so, um, I, like, went and, like, I got my root canal done right then and there, I actually, they only did half of it, because I had, and it was infected, like, that's how bad it was, um, and so, you know, like, when they do a root canal, they clean out, like, where they basically take out the nerve of your tooth, and they, um, and they like clean it all out and then they fill it so that like you don't have any more pain and then they put a crown on it. Well, since I had an infection, he um, pulled out like the nerve and then um, and then he um, like packed it with antibiotics um, and then put like a temporary seal on it. So I have to go back next week for him to put the actual fill in it and then um, put the crown on. So still have that to do. And then I'm going to take, I was going to use the all of the, of the tartlet, but since this is the, like the all of the tartlet um, palette, but it's really like all like matte colors. And since this is a full, like usually that's totally my shit, but since it's a full glam look, I wanted to do something like with some sparkle. So I'm going to use the, I, I think it's um, pure and it's the... Um, be your selfie palette. I actually got this in a um, Bob Pit Fun box, the most recent one from Winter. And I'm going to take Charming right there. It's kind of like a champagne y color. And I'm actually, I'm going to use um, it's a Sephora Precision Shadow Brush. Um, and the best thing to do with um, like sparkle, like sparkly eyeshadow is to spray your brush first and it just like it picks up the um the sparkles i'm trying to think of another word for sparkling but i can't it picks up like the sparkle a lot better and kind of like like see how much better it looks on there like can you see um and it like packs it on there better and then it packs it on your um eyelid a lot better and so I'm just going to take it from like the corner of my eye to like right where it meets that dark shade. Um, and you're going to get some um, fallout from it, like where it falls down on your cheeks and stuff. That's totally normal, especially when you're doing like sparkly eyeshadow. Um, that's why I do my eyeshadow first so I can wipe it off later. And you're going to have to build up and you're going to have to put on some more of that dark purple color. I think it was bombshell that I used. We're definitely going to have to put some more of that on. Um, i got to focus on what I'm doing. Yeah. And then I'm going to, I'm probably wetting it way too many times, but that's okay. So I'm going to wet it again. Again, like I said, probably way too many times. But this is the only thing I use this brush for. Like, I have another one of the same exact one that I use for matte shadows, and I don't get that one wet. It doesn't really ruin the brush. It just kind of the life expectancy of it doesn't isn't as long um, of like the bristles because you're getting it wet. But I only use this one for when I'm doing sparkly eyeshadow, so it'll be fine. I told my husband I was doing a makeup tutorial, like last week I told him I did one. He's like, oh, you should do my makeup sometime. 
And I'm like, okay, like, I think that'd be funny as shit to put in a tutorial. I'm like, can I really? And he's like, no. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get him drunk and then I'll do it while he's drunk so he won't even know. I can't say that too loud because he's downstairs and he might hear me and then he'll know of my evil plan. Does anyone else do that, like, kind of, like, scheme on your husband? Not in, like, a bad way. Like, obviously, if it was something, like, serious, I'd talk to him about it. But some of the stuff like this, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. And he's, like, has a way more, like, personable personality than I do. So, I think people would love it. I don't know. I might do it. I'm excited. Let me know in the comments if you want to see... A tutorial of me doing my husband's makeup. He's gonna have to shave though because he has a full-on beard and that would be really difficult to do like foundation and stuff. More. Also he's a lot more tan than I am so I'd have to get a new foundation but whatever. I'll do it. I'm down if you guys are down. But what you want to do is just kind of like lightly like blend the sparkles into everything else. And when you're, I've found personally, when you're messing with sparkly eyeshadow, like, you're going to have to build makeup back on top of it. So it's like, yeah, you know, you put in all that hard work on the base, basically, you know, the crease and the outer V, but you're going to have to build that back up again anyway, so. Alright, I'm pretty happy with how that blended out. So I'm going to um, redo my crease real quick. And then I'm going to hop back and um, we'll do the rest of my face. So, one second. Alright, so I just finished um, like adding some more and blending some more. And I clipped my hair back because I'm about to work on my face. So this is kind of like the finished eye look. Um, I mean, obviously without eyeliner and lashes and all that kind of stuff. I always like, when I do like a full glam look, since I do my eyes first, I'm always like, oh my god, like it looks way too intense totally normal like I found once I put on you know my my face and then um lash eyeliner lashes and eyebrows it doesn't look nearly as intense as it does right now like I am bare face so obviously it's going to look way more intense than it does but um like I said I got some fallout so I'm going to take a makeup remover wipe and I'm just using their beauty 360 Nicolar um makeup remover towelettes um I got these at it was either CVS or Walgreens. I always get them confused, like, which one it is. Um, but I got them there. I want to say they were, like, $5. And there are... Doesn't say how many are in there, but there's a lot. Like, it's a pretty big bunch of them. So I'm just going to go, like, on my cheekbones and, like, under my eye. I might have to get makeup remover because I use a sparkly eyeshadow and I don't, it's not really wanting to come off. Alright so I just like cleaned all the fallout out and I did end up having to use makeup remover and I use the um, Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover. Um, again this is another one that you can get literally anywhere like Ulta, Walmart, Target, like anywhere, um, anywhere that sells like drugstore beauty products and I'm going to use my um, Stila Stylo One Step Corrector um, Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum for my um, primer. And we're just gonna get it all over my head. And usually when I'm planning to contour, I will shave the peach fuzz off of my face because contrary to the popular belief, um, at least with women, since we don't have testosterone, it won't make the hair on your face grow back um, thicker or darker if you shave it. And I just use this little thing. Um, I got it from Marshalls, I think, and it's just like battery operated and um, you, oh, you turn the face and um, you just go like um, upwards motions, you just get your peach fuzz, you don't have to do that, it's just I usually do that, and I didn't today, because I didn't feel like doing it, I got off work at like, 
think I got home at like 4.30 and I was starving, so I ate and I had to shower because my hair was nasty. So I just didn't really have time to do that. But, um, and then I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape again. As I said, this is my favorite. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. And since we are contouring, I'm also going to put it right there. And I put it there to cover up a, like a blemish that I'm getting, but I'm also going to put it there. And then I'm going to take my back brush go. I'm going to take this um, Tarte um, like oval shaped brush. Um, I mentioned last week I got it like when Tarte was having this huge sale like probably like six months ago um, I, it was in a three pack and I got it then um, with like two other ones and I'm actually pretty happy because I've had the chance to use them recently so that's pretty cool I'm just gonna like blend all this out That's better. And I'm just going to get as close to like my lash line, like my under lash line as I can. Sorry, you guys one of these days I'm gonna figure out that like you kind of need to see what I'm doing I'm sorry that this is like blinding you when the light hits it again one of these days I'll get better lighting too if I end up like making some money off of this that is all right so there's that and then I'm gonna apply my foundation which is, I'm using the Lancome. I had s such a hard time pronouncing this last week and no one corrected me on how to say it, but it's the Lancome, I'm just gonna call it the Ultra Wear. And it's um, the up to 24 hour wear and comfort um, transfer resistant um, foundation. So I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna put it on my hand and do like a pump and a half. a little bit more difficult because I can't really hold it. oh that's a lot better I mean you can't see half of my face but at least you can see more of me than when I'm like right there so it's the best I got y'all I'm trying my best leave me alone it's like I have to like already make up excuses for certain things because it's not alive so if anyone notices any issues, I can't defend myself until after the fact. So it's like I have to call issues as I see them so I get a chance to defend myself, you know? Am I the one who thinks like that? Because I've had legal training, that's why. I'm a paralegal and my paralegal classes were very in-depth. And so I tend to think not like an attorney because obviously I didn't go to law school but more like attorney leaning is how I think I swear I can have no problems with redness throughout the week but don't you know the moment I sit down to film one of these tutorials, it's just like, I'm so red. I'm really, I really highlighted underneath my eyes, didn't I? Damn. Alright, and then I'm just going to take a um, sponge, a beauty sponge. I've already wet it, and I'm just going to kind of like set everything real quick. Alright, so I just finished blending out my um, 
foundation and setting it with the wet sponge and I took out my earrings because I'm about to contour which means shit's gonna get real and they were gonna get my way but um, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit the light to medium and I'm gonna take this um, like banana color right there and I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes and everywhere that I applied the um, Tarte Shape Tape concealer is where I'm gonna put this I got these brushes from Walgreens or CVS or wherever it was that I went last week. And I mean, they were cheap, so I can't really be too mad, but I'm not crazy about them. Like, like they're not picking up anything. So if you see these, they're the Color Workshop. Technically, this is a blush brush, but I like the angle to kind of get up in the corner of my eye. But if you see these, don't buy them because they suck. Like, they'd be great for, like, little kids to kind of, like, play with your makeup or play with makeup, but not so much for someone who's actually trying to do their makeup. Alright, so there is that. And before I contour, I'm actually going to um, put on bronzer first. So I'm going to grab my bronzer. Alright, so I'm going to apply my bronzer now. And I'm using the TARDIS Pro Glow palette. And um, there's like a, I think it's certain colors. Maybe not. Um, there's like a cream for like, like bronzer bronzer. Like um, some people like to use like a cream or like a liquid. I stay away from that personally, but there's also a um, bronzer, and this one's called Sculpt, and I think they put it in here like as intended to contour. I'm just going to use that as a um, bronzer. And I'm just taking that, and I'm just going like right from here, like the, like right there in my ear, and I'm just doing it like down. And I'm using a big fluffy brush. This is the Pro. It says it's Precision Powder, but it's like a pretty big brush. And it's what I like to use when I'm applying bronzer because it's not super. It's, even though it's called a precision brush, I don't feel like it's that precise. So it kind of like lays the groundwork for your contouring. And then I'm also going to just um, put it at my temple right there, just kind of like fluff it in there, and then I'm going to bring it up my forehead, and I'm going to stop right here, I'm not going to bring it all the way around because it makes your forehead look kind of like square, which you'd think I'd want because I have a pretty round face, but I don't, I'm just going to do that to the other side. under my jaw I look like a clown right now because I don't have anything blended like I mean my eyeshadow is blended and stuff but like I don't have contour on I don't have eyelashes on I don't have my eyebrows done I don't have um eyeliner on I look, I'm looking I'm looking crazy right now hoping this isn't what the finished look turns out like because that would not be good. So now I am going to contour and um, I'm going back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And um, I'm going to use this middle color. And I'm using a Sephora and this is a small contour brush. And like really you can use any brush that kind of like it kind of goes from here and then it widens out and then it's like flat right there. You can use like pretty much any of those kind of brushes to contour. Um, they also have like these kind of brushes. Um, this is by NARS. I don't remember the name of the brush, but, and it's like flat like that. You could do it like that, but you'd still have to go in and blend it out. Or I guess you could kind of build it up with that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. One second. Do you guys like my cup? It's the Marauder's Map from Harry Potter because I'm a total nerd like that, and I live for Harry Potter. 
I got it from Barnes & Noble, in case anyone wants one. It's really big, and I like it. Alright, so basically, you want to mostly focus on, um, so when you first like get powder on it, you're going to want to start right here, and then make little circles down, and then start back up here and make little circles down. So it's going to be like, let me grab my mirror so I can face you guys, so you can see what I'm doing. But it's going to be like... And then I actually work my way back up. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. You make that through space. And like, you want to be very careful. Like, you do not want to start with a lot of powder on here. Like, you want to start light. Like, I kind of dip and twist it and then I go like that a couple times because you don't want to start with a lot of powder because that's when you get that like muddy look and it's, it's not cute. It's not. See, if I had shaved my face, I wouldn't have the issue that I'm having right now where like my baby or whatever they're called, whatever that right there is called, it's getting in my way. So then I'm just going to put it in my temple put it in my temple. I'm going to put it on my temple. And then pretty much everywhere that I actually not pretty much wherever I put the bronzer is where I'm going to add the contour. I'm going to like switch between palettes because one has a mirror in it and the other one has the makeup that I'm using in it. And see, like, it already, like, it's making my, like, cheek, I already have high cheekbones, so it's making them look sharper and higher, and it just makes your, it thin, thins your face out a lot, which is why, it's just a very dramatic look, and I try not to, I mean, it's a lot of makeup you're putting on your face, first of all, so, like, I tend to kind of break out a little bit, when, and I've tried switching brands, like, all the time, but at first I thought it was the brand, but it's just, you're wearing a lot of makeup, and even when you wash your face, like, I'll probably wash my face, exfoliate, um, do a mask, and then do a night serum and all that kind of stuff, and I'll probably still break out because it's a lot of makeup on your face. So I try not to do it too often just so that, just so I can like keep my skin clear, you know, and also it just looks more dramatic, like, so that when you do show up to a night out or a date night or whatever, work party, you have it done, people are like, damn, bitch, and you're like, yeah, I know. And then, like, you don't want to do it, like, on the actual bone. You kind of want to do it, like, underneath. If you don't want to come to your chin, because, like I said, when I was doing my bronzer last week, I was like, you don't want a pointed chin, but you don't, so. I mean, unless you have one, and then you're awesome, no matter what. But, like, if you don't have one, it's gonna kind of throw off like the symmetry, I guess, of your face. Um, so then I'm going to take my Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush and I'm just gonna blend all of that out, or everything, really. I'm just gonna kind of blend it. for it <laughs> NARS orgasm because it is the best blush in the world see it's like it, it has shimmer in it but when I put it on like I don't it doesn't look shimmery to me I don't know maybe it's because when I apply highlighter I like apply it all over my face 
and so when I see anything with like the barest amount of shimmer I'm like that's not shimmery yes Lexi yes it is god the lighting in this room sucks I'm sorry you guys And I know it looks really pink. I'm gonna blend it. Don't worry. I know you're getting worried. Don't worry. I'm like switching between seeing it on here because I don't know how it looks to you, like on the screen and then looking in my mirror. Because until I get some better lighting, like it's I'm not gonna look the same on screen as I am like in person I feel like this isn't blend like it looks fine in person but on the camera it looking like I didn't blend like up here very well and I promise I did I really promise okay so now I've applied my like um like I call, it's technically called highlight, but it's not like shimmery highlight. It's just, you know, where you've highlighted parts of your face. So I did that. Um, I've done my bronzing, my contouring, my blush, and I've blended it numerous times. So I'm going to go back to this TARDIS Pro Glow palette. Again, I got this in a FabFitFun box. I don't think I, I don't think I got the fall one. I think I got spring maybe, and that's when I got this. Like, y'all have to get on that Fab. This is not a sponsorship. I'm not big enough to like I think I have zero subscribers on my YouTube channel like I'm not big enough to like be getting sponsors or anything it's just it's awesome like I think that like I saw this palette in one of their promos and it was like you know this could come with your FabFitFun box and I'm like sign me up um I'm gonna be using Stunner which is like that color right there sorry I probably just blinded all of you guys with the mirrors between the mirrors and that light, I think I just blinded everyone. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying. Ooh, like, look at that. Damn. I really do love this highlight. And I come to, like, right here. Um, I probably come down too low, but... I love highlighting and then I do my cupid's belt again you can do the end of your nose like I said I don't like my nose so I don't want to attract attention to it and then some people do the center of their forehead I don't like my forehead either so I'm not going to highlight that and right now I'm still dealing with a little bit of a breakout it's not as bad as it was last week but um I don't really want to put any additional products on it and attract any more attention um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick and then I'll be and then I'm gonna highlight around those so one sec All right, so I finished this brow and I figured I'd show you guys how to do your brows. Um I don't know how to best do this. I guess like this um, So you want to start like I just dipped it. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills on um, dip um, Pomade I keep I always put an R in there, but dip prom palade pal Really struggle with that name pomade and I use blonde obviously what I do is um this is actually a Kylie Jenner um like lip liner or no eyeliner brush and I liked it for my eyebrows and so what I do is like mine's almost out can you tell but I like do it on the like I get it on the edges and then I actually like wipe it off on my hand and kind of like go like that because you don't really need a whole lot of product um and then I start like probably like right and my brows like aren't even related like they're pretty uneven because I have a scar on this side so I try to make them as even as I can but I start like right here and just like go upwards watch I'm really gonna mess them up now because I'm showing you guys on camera how to do it and you just like follow the motion of your brow like you can obviously fill in some spaces like it's really obvious if you're trying to fill in spaces that like they're 
literally is no hair like because I used to do it so I'd have more of an arch and I look back at pictures and I'm like it's so obvious that I was trying to like create something that isn't there and then this is the part that most um, people struggle with is like to kind of fade it you go like underneath you kind of want to like outline it, your brows so you go underneath and then you go above and then you like drag it down lightly very lightly so like by now you've reached like the end of whatever you originally put on your brush so it should be like the lightest right there and you just kind of like go like that and then you can kind of blend it out some more see what I mean like this eyebrow flawless this eyebrow like this one has more of like a point to the arch and this one just doesn't and I don't I don't know what I did wrong in a past life to deserve this but it's just the way the cookie crumbles I suppose you guys I'm so happy that I haven't had to deal with any falling equipment today because last week in my last video I had a super ghetto setup and it fell on me in the middle of the tutorial and it was horrible so yeah I'm just gonna kind of go like that and then um, I'm gonna apply some eyebrow gel and I use the um, benefit give me brow and I use the color one this is like I guess it's more by shades than by color I lost this last week when I was trying to like show you guys couldn't find it and then it was in my makeup bag the whole time that's just my life and you just use this to kind of like add color like fill in spaces that you might have missed while um actually like filling it you know filling it like I just was and it also kind of shapes your brows and like keep, keeps them in formation I need to learn to do my makeup like this when I'm filming these tutorials because this is kind of it works because I'm holding it like right here and you guys can see what I'm doing I'm not I mean I'm going like at awkward angles with my arm but I'm not like reaching across my face so you guys can't see me I need to remember to do this it's like but it's like you spend your whole life doing your makeup one way and it's like all of a sudden you do it a different way all right so there's that my eyebrows look so intense when I don't have eye makeup on. Oh my god. Alright, so now I'm just going to highlight like underneath my brow, like right where it arches, and I'm going to highlight right there. Same on that side. And I'm just using, it's the an Urban Decay brush, but it came with the um, Vice Limited palette. It was like a limited time palette. I actually didn't love the palette that much. It was like really bright, like crazy colors that were all sparkly and I kind of like I never used it like even when I was doing like full glam looks like it just wasn't me like um, so I gave it away to someone I don't remember who I might have donated it actually because I literally never used it like so it was just a waste like it was just sitting in my in a makeup drawer and I'm not, I think I donated it to a woman's shelter I'm not sure I don't remember I don't know like it's not important not like bragging like oh I don't need to do it like I'm just saying just making conversation all right so I did right there and right there on both sides and um I'm gonna do my eyeliner and put on my lashes and then I will show you the finished look so be right back I can't wait to like my whole face goes up like anyway you know what I'm trying to say all right you guys I just put on my eyeliner and um I did my lashes I did mascara and then I also put on um Ardell professional wispy lashes and um because this is a full glam look and they're my favorite like I use them for everything I use them for my bachelorette party my bridal shower my 21st birthday um I like they're my go-to lashes I buy them like in bulk and this is what they look like there's two different ones. Uh, oh, and I use the Demi Wispies in black. There's two different ones. There's Ardell Professional Wispies, and that's the one 
could be in pink, and then there's just Ardell Wispies, and it says Wispies in, in red, I think. Um, these are my favorite. I have both, but these are my favorite. I'm not really sure what the difference is, but those are kind of my go-to. And then I use the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive in black. Um, I want to say it was like 20 bucks, maybe, if that. Um, and this has lasted me for a while. <laughs> Again, it's probably another product that's totally um, um, expired, but oh well. And then um, I used my Bobbi Brown Black Gel Eyeliner and on the top of my lid. And then I just used the Tarte, um, what, what's it called? Um, okay, I'm gonna look for it. It's the um, Sex Kitten black eyeliner by um Tarte and it's just like not really a pencil I'm not really sure what it's called but it's like the twist up one like it's in between a gel and a pencil and I used that for my bottom lid and then I just took a um a smudge eye brush and um sort of blended it out and then I used these um Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in the color Stella and I put that on the inner corner of my eyes and kind of I kind of brought it down a bit and so that's the look i'm gonna put on some setting spray and then um do my lips and then we're done so and this is the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray long lasting um i think it works um like like i said on my last video there are some crazy reviews on it that i personally don't think are very accurate but it works like it is like it does like set your makeup and it does stay for a while but as far as having sex for 13 hours in your makeup not moving, I don't think either one of those is possible. So that's just my two cents. But um, I'm gonna put on my favorite favorite. Um, it's like a, it's. I think it's like a lip. Um, it's like a matte lipstick. Um, it's by Bare Minerals, and it's the color Swag, and it's matte. And I'm just gonna put that on. Um, I want to say this is a sample size as well, but I think I got this in a birthday set or for as a sample that was something that I ordered I'm not sure it smells like hot chocolate all right so there is that and then since it is a matte and matte matte lipsticks tend to be very drying I'm going to put some lip gloss over it and I'm going to use my um Kapari um lip glossy and it's like the peach one I think there's two different ones and this is the peach one said it before and I'll say it again this is the best damn lip gloss that there is in the entire world all right guys so that is it for this tutorial if you like this video make sure to hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next because totally up for suggestions but um see you guys next tuesday for my next video and i hope you have a wonderful week